guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my first ever challenge. I did the full face makeup using your non-dominant hand. And I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I think this look is really cool and um, very like fall slash holiday season, I guess. I really like the gold on the center and then the pop of like a different type of color on the inside. Usually it goes from darker to lightest and it's just kind of a little bit different. It has the pop of color in the inner corner there. And I absolutely love this lip color. The, this whole combination makes me look like I got lip plumpers or like lip injections. I don't hate it. <laughs> if you guys are wondering where I got this awesome choker, it is from this company called the Songbird Collection. I will leave in the description box below along with the coupon code for you guys. As always, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, honey. Did you do it? Okay, cool. So if you'd like to see the struggle of how I got this makeup look, just keep on watching. I have a feeling that this is going to be a huge nightmare. Let's see how it goes. So for foundation today, I'll be using my Hourglass Vanish Foundation in the shade Linen. So, this is so weird. I have to like try and focus on grabbing things with my right hand. Okay, this feels so weird. Foundation should be pretty easy, I think. <laughs> Get enough on. And then I'm blending that out with a buffing brush. Oh, it feels so weird. I feel like I'm being so heavy handed, like my foundation is going to be so streaky. So weird. I feel like my hand is gonna be in the way the entire time. Ugh. Okay. Next, I'm gonna attempt to fill in my brows. For this, I will be using the Anastasia Brow Pomade in Taupe and an angled brush. Like, I don't even know how to hold it. Like I feel like I'm making the craziest faces. Ugh, oh, this is gonna take forever. Can you see the concentration? Ooh! Not bad. Pretty impressed with myself already. Now it's time to carve those babies out. I will be using the Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Light on my Mikasa E220 concealer brush. Okay. I think, I feel like I need a smaller mirror so I can see what I'm doing. Mike's gonna be right about how I'm a fake lefty. He always says that. He's like, you only use your left hand to write and you everything else with your right hand. You're a fake lefty. You're not really a left-handed person. I feel like the left side of my face is always going to be the hardest. Oh my god. <laughs> my hand's gonna start shaking. And my camera's already dying if that tells you how long it's been taking me to actually do this. This is gonna take a while. Well, before it dies, I wanna go ahead and start on my eyelids. Today, I will be using my Hidden Treasure Palette by Dose of Colors, and I'm going to start out, wow, this is really dirty. So today, I'll be using my Dose of Colors Hidden Treasure Palette, and I will be starting off using the color Map, which is just a neutral brown transition shade. really is so foreign to me, oh my gosh. Now I want to deepen up the outer crease just a little bit more, so I'll be going in with the shade Key, which is just a dark matte brown shade. 
and I'll be taking that on my Morphe M139 brush. I feel like I want this a little bit darker so I'm going to take the matte black shade which is called Onyx and go over the outer corner. <laughs> For the inner part of my lid I'll be using the shade Diamond which is a pinky shimmery shade. And I'm going to apply this using my finger. For the center of my lid today, I'm tapping into my Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette number 10. And I'm going to take this awesome gold shade and put that on the center of my lids. I'm going to be honest with you guys, uh, lid colors were super easy. So, moving on. Mascara. <laughs> I can't hold anything. Okay, mascara is not that hard to do. Oh, this might be hard. Eyeliner. Oh god. Oh god. I can't get in there. So for lashes today, I'm using New Bonds and Bellas. This is a brand new pair. I love brand new eyelashes. Like a pro. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> So during this part, I was intermittently talking to my roommate, so there's no talking here. Basically, I just blended out the same colors along the lower lash line, went in with another eyeliner, and started my concealer. This challenge was just super, super hard. Uh, it just <laughs> it took a million times longer because I had no coordination at all with my other hand. But we got through it, and now I can say that I did it and never do it again. Okay? We had some good times, righty. I'll never forget them. But you are unreliable as shit, so we are going back to good old lefty from now on. Yes. Really though, guys, this challenge was actually a lot of fun. I was just so frustrated by the end at how long it was taking. But it actually was really challenging and I did enjoy it and I definitely recommend that you try it out yourself. For my inner corner highlight, I'll be using the shade Pearl. Now taking my bronzer. Oh god. I'm gonna have giant stripes across my face. I don't know how to avoid this disaster. blush. I'm using Milani Luminoso, of course, because it gives just a gorgeous glow to the cheeks. For my highlighter today, I'm using something new. This is the So Icy Illuminator from Beauty Bakery. Oh, I want to use my other hand so bad. I'm afraid I'm going to get a stripe of black right across my nose. Oh my god, I can't. Oh wait, okay. Okay, now all that's left is lips. I want to do kind of a toned down peachy glossy lip. I'm going to start off by lining my lips with Nude Truffle by NYX. It is just a lightish brown color. It's going to look dark on me because I'm lighter, but... 
This will help tone down the color that I'm about to put over it. For lipstick today, I will be using the Too Faced Melted Matte in Feelin' Myself. So now I can't decide if I want to keep my lips matte or top it with the Jouer Skinny Dip Lip Topper. Do I want to? Kind of. Maybe I really am a fake lefty because I feel like this is the best my lips have ever come out. Like, they look good, man. Girl, you look good. Alright, I'm doing it. Okay guys, so we made it through the non-dominant hand makeup challenge. This one was crazy. It took me so long. It took about three hours, which is craziness. And I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. I feel like it looks just as good as it does when I use my dominant hand. So maybe I'm a little bit more ambidextrous than I originally thought. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it and tag other makeup artists that you would like to try out this challenge. And don't forget to subscribe so that you can see my newest videos coming out. And thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!